energy. I never knew there were so many types of energy. There are two different forms of energy. Kin kinetic energy and potential energy. Um, kinetic energy is energy of movement and potential energy is energy that is stored. In today's experiment, we're going to be using elastic energy. It's a form of potential energy. Can you guess what we are going to build today? It's a catapult. And it uses elastic energy and kinetic energy. stick into this like there I'm gonna slide it in. Catapult. Let's see, what do we use? A marshmallow? marshmallow? Mar yeah, that's a great idea. If you have marshmallows, you can use some. You have a big pack of marshmallows. But those make the marshmallows too big, otherwise it won't fit on the spoon and it won't launch. We have some small marshmallows to use. And to eat. They're young. Super duper trooper young. Uh, As you can see, our catapult is so cool. And now let's actually try launching something in it. You can use whatever you like, as long as it's light enough, but we're just going to use some marshmallows. I think I'll use a big one, even though there's a small one, there, and these small ones are stick together. Okay, so, put, so it's easy to put the spoon, then um, pull the spoon back, and, and, and hold on to the popsicle stick over here. And launch. We'll try this too. Just like that. Um, but if if it doesn't work, then I think I'll know why. Right. See how far that was? Or that's going to be too heavy. Ready? Steady. Go. <laughs> it just landed next to you, Taku. Yeah, and now we're going a block. I want to show you how it might be if I try. So, you know the sides behind this? Rubber bands have elastic energy, which is a type of potential energy. When you push the spoon down, for example, marshmallow, you push the spoon down and release like this. The elastic energy is transformed into kinetic energy, which goes into the object we are catapulting. You can actually test this outside. You can go outside and catapult some rocks and twigs and stuff. And you can put one more popsicle stick over here than the spoon. And you can test how far the, um, the item you're catapulting will go. So you can experiment that in different ways and you can even write it down somewhere so you can like record it because that's what real uh, scientists do yeah, there's a lot of cool ways you can do this experiment and i hope you had fun and bye bye <laughs>